Hello friends! Today I'm going to be building a capsule closet, which I'm really excited about. Um, for those of you that might not know, a capsule closet or a capsule wardrobe is basically having a limited number of pieces that all kind of coincide or are, a are more interchangeable um, so then you can create more outfits out of them and simplify and minimize the amount of clothing that you have. This is not a typical capsule closet, I would say. I am kind of just experimenting with it for the next month. I think this will be a good way to kind of challenge myself in my, style, in my personal style and combat my materialism. And I am not a minimalist <laughs> by any means, um, and I do think I kind of have too much of an attachment to my clothes and so this is my attempt to kind of combat that and experiment with my style and the clothing that I have. So from the research that I did online it seems like about 35 pieces is a good number for beginners um, and I have a bit less than 35. I think right now I'm at 28 I want to say or 29. So for context, I live in Arizona and over the next month it's going to be very consistently hot. Um, and so when you're uh, creating your wardrobe, I think it's really important to keep in mind the seasons that are occurring or changing. Um, and you might have to create maybe two different capsule wardrobes for different seasons and things like that. Another thing that I kept in mind when I was creating my wardrobe is I know I'm going to be breaking it over the next month. Um, just for special occasions and things like that. So for example, I'm graduating in a couple of weeks and so I have a dress that's specific for graduation that's a bit nicer. Lastly is that I didn't include my work clothes. Um, where I work, my clothes just get way too dirty to be wearing in day-to-day -day life. Um, and so I didn't think it would be smart of me to include them in my wardrobe when I know I would only be wearing them to work. Um, so those are some things, little asterisks on the capsule closet for me that are personally a bit different. And then also moving forward, I don't want to be very, like too rigid with myself. Um, so like I just said, I know I'm going to be breaking it a couple of times over the next month. But also if there's a piece that I notice I just really am being drawn to or I just want to be wearing a lot in the next month, I'll probably just end up incorporating it into the capsule closet. Um, and I'm planning on creating another video at the end of this month to show what my capsule closet felt like, what it looked like. So I'm not going to be getting rid of any of my other clothes over the next month. I might here and there pull things out that I want to get rid of. This is just an experiment for me to kind of bridge my materialism with non-attachment and kind of release anything that I don't really need anymore. In this video, I'm just gonna be showing you the pieces that I picked out and kind of my reasoning for them. So let's just get started. <laughs> Starting off strong, I just got this t-shirt the other day um, and so I don't really want to not wear it for a month. This Led Zeppelin one. Big theme across all of the pieces that I chose, just that they're pieces that I am wearing constantly already and that I know I gravitate towards in my wardrobe, so yeah. All right, here's the first tank top I included. Yeah, this one just has a really cool hood that I think is dope. All right, next uh, tank top. Next top is this one that I made. Good go-to lounge shirt, but it's also cute enough to be wearing outside. All right, next up is this corset that I got. Um, it was originally actually pink and I dyed it because not a big, not a big pink guy. But just like a little white halter top with some cool embroidery on it. Um, and I really like wearing all white and so I have some white bottoms. I thought this would be nice to wear. I also wanted to include this top and I have another kind of like athletic workout top that I decided to include as well. Here is the other workout top. I just figured these would be nice for doing yoga, working out, hiking, things like that. The last top that I include, um, I just think it'll be nice having like a basic black top. But this one I'm kind of on the fence about, so we'll see. First off, we've got a nice pair of green vintage army pants. Um, I absolutely adore these pants, and I wear them all the time already. Next is 
a pair of comfy pants, but pants that I also just wear out and about. Um, I just got these at a local shop here in Tempe. Next are my jeans, my painter jeans. It's this pair of hard label flares. These are their Frankie flares in short. Um, I just wear these all the time. Another pair of comfy pants. <laughs> um, these are by Heart of the Label. These are just, again, the Frankie flares, but just in the regular cut. Don't mind the wrinkles, <laughs> but this is my nice pair of linen pants, just plain white linen pants. Another white bottom. My last skirt is just this long black flowy ones, white uh, corduroy ones. I think they're originally like Abercrombie and Fitch, but I got them second hand. Right, I also decided to include two pairs of just like workout type yoga shorts. Here's the other pair of like hiking shorts. I also decided to include just one pair of basic leggings. This is the only pair of overalls that I included, just my nice denim ones. Next is this long uh, striped gray dress. I love this dress and I wear it all the time, um, but it's kind of thicker, so I'm not positive if I'm gonna love it for like uh, the hotter months. Next dress is this beautiful long patchwork dress. This is another dress that I'm not positive if it's gonna stay in the capsule wardrobe, um, just because it's like kind of a nicer dress and I, I like wearing it all the time at home, but I don't frequently wear it out because it's a bit long um, and I walk <laughs> a lot of places <laughs> and so it's hard to not step on it. Second to last dress is this like little white fairy dress. Um, it's like loosely fit right now, which is nice, but I usually take it and tie it in the back. And I think this is just a cute dress again for like going out or if I'm, you know, doing something fun with my friends. <laughs> Last piece of clothing that we have is this just like little green tank dress. I included five pairs of shoes. First off are just my chacos. These are just nice for going on adventures and also going for a walk. I included my hiking shoes. This is pretty self-explanatory, um, just needed them for hikes, but I think they'd also be good for going on walks and things like that. We got my Birkenstocks. These I wear virtually every day already anyways, so it would be a crime to not include them in the capsule wardrobe. I included one pair of like tennis shoes, just a pair of slip-on vans. Last, but certainly not least, we've got my Blundstone boots. These are multi multi-talented i wear these hiking i wear them walking around they can be dressed up things like that that is all that i have for you guys today thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed it let me know i'm really excited to see how the next month with my capsule closet goes so yeah see you guys later